So once you have installed the Turbo Ghost application, you can go into settings and uh, toggle on the preview option. And this will preview the uh, circle, which indicates where the user are looking at all times. And the obvious downside of this is that the circle will always be visible on the screen uh, to the tester itself. And uh, this will, will uh, probably introduce some even greater sense of artificiality in, uh, to the behaviorisms of the, the user in whichever situation you're trying to simulate. So ideally, we want to hide this uh, circle from the uh, from the user, unless you're doing some sort of very simplified uh, screen recording process where the circle doesn't really matter if it's seen by the user or not. So if you want to hide this from the user, there are options by using the uh, OBS Studio. This is because the Toby Ghost thing can uh, display uh, this circle within certain applications, for instance, by streaming directly to Twitch or by uh, using OBS. So if I now uncheck the preview, I can go into OBS. You can see here that the circle is now displayed on the screen. This is because uh, in the sources I have uh, put in the game capture item and I've uh, set it to set um, it to capture a very specific window, and that is the SS overlay. That is basically the uh, window which is overlaid on your monitor or your, your screen, which uh, renders out the circle where you're looking. And underneath, there's a display capture, so the display is captured. So if I now start recording this, you just have to trust me now, because I cannot see the circle anymore. If I look up here, I cannot see the circle, but because the uh, OBS Studio is set up to render the uh, circle to the video, I cannot see it over here. But you can see it in the OBS Studio. So you just have to trust me that I don't see it on my own screen. So I will now pause this recording and I will drag it into a recording application and you can see how this has been stored. So here I've loaded clip into PowerDirector, but it doesn't matter which application you use. And you can see here that the uh, circle is always visible in the clip itself, so it's uh, baked into it and I cannot remove it if I wanted to, for whatever reason. So if you want uh, a way to record the uh, screen capture and the uh, render layer with the circle separately. I'm not quite aware of a way to do this directly inside OBS, unless you're running two OBS at the same time. So, uh, but I might be wrong. So don't take this as uh, absolute truth, but I'm pretty sure that I cannot set up OBS to separate the uh, screen capture and the game capture individually in between two different uh, video files but I may be wrong about this. So the way to get around this is to actually use two separate OBS studios at the same time. So if you right click and click OBS studio again, it uh, gives you a short warning, but you can do this, no problem. So if I disable the game capture, this will no longer capture the circle. You can see it disappears from view in there. And on this one, I can disable the game capture. So you can see on this video, I can um, see the circle. And uh, on this video, I can only see the circle within the capture. So the way I'm doing this is that I tend to disable the uh, desktop audio on one of the uh, the OBS clients. and uh, But I still keep the audio uh, of the microphone on both of them, because it, this makes it easier to synchronize these clips later, because most of the editing softwares like uh, PowerDirector, and I also remember Premiere had this, that it's very easy to synchronize clips based on the audio. So if I now start recording, and one of the feeds only has the game capture with the render layer of the circle, and one does not. So if I now pause the recording on both of these, I can go back into the program here, import these clips. So, because I just rendered out the top layer to another video file, the transparency hasn't been preserved, it's all black. So the way to uh, get the transparency back, I can change the blending mode of this video to uh, screen, for instance, and it will remove the blacks and keep the white values. So now I'll be able to see the circle where I was looking at the time. If I want to uncheck it, I can now hide the layer, and I can also mess with the transparency and transitioning if I want to fade this in and out. So now I can remove and uh, show this circle as I wanna. And now for the audio syncing in this program, I just have to select the programs or the, sorry, the video files. 
go to sync by audio. So because I recorded the microphone on both of these video files, I was able to synchronize them pretty easily. And now I know that the, um, or the circle should be very fairly close to the timeline as uh, where the user was looking at the time during the video recording.